The existence of electricity was recognized only 400 years back and some researches made by scientists like Benjamin Franklin and Michael Faraday helped their successors to show a great involvement in understanding the concept of electricity. Even now, a lot of researches are being conducted all around the world to eliminate the misconceptions that were conceived in the late 20th century. And today, we will look to clarify one question. How fast is the electricity? As we all know, electricity is the flow of charges either positive or negative from one place to another. This is called current and this motion depends upon the force which is exerted on the charge when they are placed in the non-zero electrical field with that the force being called as the voltage. In an electric field, the charges are carried by both protons and electrons with that the charges being carried by the electrons are conventionally deemed as negative. These electrons were first found out by J.J. Thomson in the year 1897. It is said to have at the mass of 9.11 into 10 power minus 31 kgs and it is also said to be capable of carrying 1.602 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs of electrical charge. In the past, many researches were conducted to find out how fast these electrons could move. And surprisingly, most of the results showed that they are capable of traveling very near to the speed of light which is 300,000 km per second. These electrons will start to move when they are accompanied by energy. So when we are applying more amount of energy, the electrons will also tend to move very fast. The energy here will be coined neither in watts nor in joules but in electron volts. Electrons can be made to move at 90% of the speed of light with an energy of 220,000 electron volts being applied. But the most interesting fact is that to increase the speed of the electron a bit further, we need to apply a lot more of energy than being applied ever before. Jefferson Labs located in Virginia, USA took this fact as a test and the results were shocking as they required about 4 giga electron volts or 4 billion electron volts to make an electron to move at 99.9999992% of the speed of light but still not 100%. Yet we can assume that the electrons are traveling at the speed of light but this will not be the same at every medium and every atom. So now comes the biggest question. Will this characteristic of electron make the electricity to move at the speed of light? We know that the electricity can be passed through any conducting medium. And as said earlier, the speed of the electrons will vary depending upon the mediums and atoms. Researches were conducted based on a standard medium which revealed that only very slight movement of electrons is possible inside a circuit and some people are also saying that it is the energy inside the circuit which is moving very fast and not the electrons. The electricity will always happen in a closed circuit as the electrons are present at every part of the circuit. So when a supply is given to the circuit, it will get to its operating state almost instantly. Uh, this is due to the action of the energy on the electrons. So what it makes is, it makes the electron to vibrate in the order of centimeters per minute. So this sufficiently proves the fact that energy is the fast moving thing and the electrons will only act as a medium with flowing energy. To understand it more precisely, let us consider an example of rotating a wheel. So if we give it a spin by pushing or pulling at one end of the wheel, it gets to rotate almost instantly. Here is where it is related to electricity. The mechanical energy which we are applying to rotate the wheel gets spreaded almost instantly to all parts of the wheel. But the particles of the atom in which the wheel is made up of will not be doing so. This clearly shows us that the electrons in the circuit will be acting as a medium for the energy to flow. Also, this can be related to sound and air, where the air will be acting as a medium for the fast moving sound. Thus, we need to accept the fact that we can only make electrons to move near to the speed of light, but not the electricity. If you think this is a matter to be seriously discussed, comment me down so I can bring me live on YouTube so that we can have a word or two. Check out my other videos on this YouTube channel and also get subscribed. Thank you for watching.